Texas Mark Mullins introduces you to a mother facing her own demons to defeat her prejudice and strengthen her love after her daughter dropped a bombshell. The Hendricks County mother will be watching tonight's Bruce Jenner interview very closely since she has made quite the journey herself, testing her faith when her only daughter said she felt trapped and wanted to live life as a man. At Sheila Carlson's Brownsburg home, the snapshots in the picture frames tell a life story and lives changed. We went downtown Chicago for the first time. Sheila gave birth to two kids, her daughter, Caprice, and her son, Spencer. Caprice, even at an early age, liked going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, side by side with the boys. Caprice was a tomboy. She rode dirt bikes. She was the only girl on the Little League and hockey teams. It was hard for me because I'm a girly girl. It was very hard to have a tomboy, but I accepted it and, and, and uh, was supportive. Caprice wore track pants and dated boys and was growing into a beautiful woman. But always was a beautiful person. But inside, Caprice was struggling. And that struggle came to a head during her first semester at Roosevelt University in Chicago. Time and space away from home had helped her. When she said she was a lesbian, that came out of left field. It was kind of a surprise, but I was okay with that. I was like, fine, if that's who you feel, that's not a problem for me. Because as I said, I had a lot of gay and lesbian friends, so that was never a problem. But for Caprice, that wasn't it. It wasn't right. There was more. She wasn't lesbian. And she finally really leveled with her mother. She feels she's a boy. She wants to go by the name Brendan. I told her I would never call her that name. And that she was my daughter. And that God doesn't make mistakes. Caprice's weekend visits from home started out cordial. And the first day was great. We were catching up. But they ended with arguments. The second day, it was like my opportunity to try and convince her otherwise. And that's when the fighting began and the tears began and she couldn't wait to leave. I just couldn't reconcile what I had learned all my life with my faith to what was happening with her becoming him. Tonight on the news at 11 on RTV6, you're going to meet him, Sheila Carlson's son, Brendan. You'll hear the struggles that he went through to become free, and you'll hear the moment when mom stopped using the name Caprice and started calling her child Brendan. That's at 11. I'm Mark Mullins, RTV6.